I was really proud that we addressed breaking bad news because this is one of the most challenging issues in clinical day because if you tell the patient you have cancer or the cancer is back, fear paralyzes is in the room. And that was for me the personally the reason why we initiated a big trial and I was proud to present them here, more than 1,000 participants from physicians up to medical students, we interviewed them, how they deal with breaking bad news, how they are trained. And it was a very honest survey in Germany, Austria and Switzerland, but I think it can be translated in all the countries. And there's a high demand for training, it's a high demand for supervision. And the medical students, but even the doctors, are very afraid to deliver bad news. And they feel uncomfort, they feel untrained, unprepared. And they even um, are afraid to continue their work. And maybe if we can change supervision into the clinical routine to train, to educate doctors, then maybe we protect even the burnout what many of the physicians experienced. And the breaking bad news issue is that we start to change our attitude to be much more less than overload the patient with too much information, to increase awareness, to give a signal, I have a bad message, to give space to um, visualize the emotions of the patients and not to run immediately into a treatment decision making process what the patient are unable to follow because after two and a half minutes stories the patient cannot smell, cannot feel, not listen to you. And that's the reason I think what we know, you cannot not communicate, but you can even not, not go in relationship. And this is a challenge as a doctor. Go in relationship and try to use even the resource of the other professions. It's not your own shoulder what have to load all the burden to solve all the problems. That's the conclusion of this survey.